Did you guys see that uh, the BBC published an article saying that we only have 18 months, not 12 years, because last year the IPCC, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change for the United Nations, said that uh, we only have about 12 years to uh, reverse course on climate change. Woo! Anyway. Uh... The BBC reported today, though, that there is a growing consensus that uh, we only have um, 18 months. And I pointed this out on Twitter. That's the In that same amount of time, uh, in 18 months is when we're going to have a new president inaugurated. Or maybe Trump will win and he'll just stay and he doesn't have to get re-inaugurated. But assuming Trump loses, even if we get the most hardcore climate crusader from the Democratic Party, say it's Bernie Sanders, uh, he's not going to be able to do anything. By the time he takes office, which is 18 months from now, it will be too late. So we might as well just uh, keep burning fossil fuels. So that we can enjoy whatever little time we have on this planet. Of course, you know, they're, they're, now they're saying, the BBC says right now we have 18 months. Okay. Well, assume we don't do, I, I think they they, estimate, they mentioned in the same piece that we need to reduce for, uh, carbon emissions by 45% by 2030. That's the goal from the IPCC, if I'm recalling correctly. And for those who don't know, um, or for those keeping score at home, 70% uh, of America's energy sector, 70% comes from fossil fuel energy, oil, coal, natural gas. And uh, you got to reduce that by 45% just in the United States. And, of course, people on the left, they like to be smug and cynical about it. Oh, well, who cares about enriching uh, the, the big oil companies and the Koch brothers and, uh, and a few people who own oil? Like, well, that's going to have a dramatic impact on the economy there, chief.